Think about it. Omar wears a hijab, which according to the Quran 33, uh, colon 59, tells women to cover so they won't get molested. Is her adherence to this Islamic doctrine indicative of her adherence to Sharia law, which in itself is antithetical to the United States Constitution? We need to kill them. We need to kill them, the radical Muslim terrorists hell-bent on killing us. You're in danger. I'm in danger. We're at war, and this is not going to stop. And make no mistake, as sure as I'm talking to you, there will be efforts to limit our First Amendment, our free speech, to comply with Sharia blasphemy laws, which call for death to those who slander the Prophet Muhammad. And when they want to shut us up, they call us Islamophobes. I told you that you need to be afraid because they are coming for you. The ISIS assault, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria signals the beginning of the reverse crusade. They are coming for us. To them, we are the infidels. My resolution? airstrikes. Bomb them. Bomb them. Keep bombing them. Bomb them again and again. And I don't care how long it takes. That same FBI interviewed Mateen, the Orlando shooter, three times. Mateen told them that his anti-American comments were simply a response to what he perceived as anti-Muslim comments. He was turning the tables on us folks while basically tapping into our politically correct Islamophobic guilt. We can't negotiate with them. We can't trade with them. We can't let them out of Guantanamo. In fact, even Guantanamo is too good for them. Until we get this country back on track with our military superiority, the hallmark of a strong and a free nation, then our enemies will continue to attack us as lone wolves or as legion. It's time for Americans to realize it's us against them. To come together as a nation, to forget about the political lines that separate us. We have to start treating these cases...